I mean, there's no question it was a surprise because, you know, as I'd mentioned to you, I very rarely enter competitions. And so it's just kind of like, well, you know, oh, it's a good feeling. There's no question about that. You kind of think, oh, gee, that was really quite a good win. I had been to the Mania Toto a couple of times. I know I'd read a few things about, you know, the light was special. I came into the area and just loved it instantly. And don't ask me why, it's just one of those things where you go, oh, well, this is absolutely fantastic. And they're quite captivating because the scene is fantastic for starters. There's a great sense of history that's preserved there and you're, it's like a looking glass. The sharing sheds still get used. So it's a piece of history that's still active, that's still useful. And so it, it's a whole series of elements for me that just come together and it's the mini Toto. Yeah. I'm very intuitive in terms of what I shoot and I shoot what really just makes me feel that I, I really want to shoot. It's pretty simple. Now look, I was pretty stoked. There's no question about that. And um, yeah, I, I'm just going, can I ever repeat that? <laughs>